Tonight, we're speaking with members of Jake Gardner's family for the first time. Good evening, I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Alexandra Stone. Jake Gardner's lawyer says he died by suicide in Oregon Sunday. It all happened days after a grand jury indicted Gardner on four charges in the death of James Skurlock. The KETV News Watch Evans Michelle Bandour has tonight's big story. Michelle. Well, Rob and Alexander, Jake Gardner's cousins tell me that it's been tough to stay quiet while watching a community portray their loved one as a racist killer. They say they will always stand by him and they say they want to grieve and bury Jake Gardner in peace, but Omaha won't let them. We made sure that he knew that we stand behind you. We know that you are not a racist. We know that you are a good person. And Jake Gardner's cousins asked us to disguise their identities for fear of retribution and attacks they've already seen on social media. People rejoicing and carrying on and celebrating because another life was lost. The community should be ashamed of itself for how this was handled. They and deemed him guilty from day one. 24 hours after finding out their cousin ended his life in Hillsboro, Oregon, they want the community to understand the man they knew and loved. They say Gardner expressed remorse after killing James Skurlock outside his Old Market bar in May. We know you did not kill for a bar. You looked in your mother's eyes and told her, I'm sorry, Mom, it was my life or his. I didn't mean to destroy our life. Gardner's lawyers say the veteran Marine who served two tours of duty in the Middle East suffered from PTSD. The night of the unrest and the fatal shooting of Skurlock, they say, triggered trauma from the Iraq war. You know, at what point does someone get over a war when things are going chaotic like that? Like they said, there's tear gas going off, people are shouting, then people attack him. Gardner himself shared his feelings with KETV Newswatch 7 while waiting for the grand jury decision. He told us, quote, I'm more anxious now than when I was flying to Iraq. He added he was there before and during 9-11. Gardner said he was also in Haiti in 2004 to break up the civil unrest. You can look into his eyes in that video and you can see that fear. Yep. I look at that video and I see his eyes and I cry. To see the fear that that man was looking at, I know Jake, I looked in those eyes thousands of times. He was terrified. We would like to grieve in peace with all, all the hate. But we can't because everybody's still happy that he's gone. Well, the Gardner cousins tell me that they don't believe he would have received a fair trial here in Omaha if it had gotten that far. They also say that they pray for the Skurlock family as they both have lost two sons to this tragedy. Reporting live in downtown Omaha, Michelle Banjor, KETV Newswatch 7.